Welcome back to the Hat and Hair Academy. My name's Jonathan, and this is a deck review. All right, everybody. This week, we're going to be reviewing the Theory 11 Voyager playing cards. Now, this was a deck that I got for the holiday season. Uh, it's a beautiful deck of cards. It's not a deck of cards that I would have purchased for myself. So uh, I had a lot of fun opening it and looking at it. Let's start with the tuck box. The tuck box is uh, it's embossed and debossed. And so you have some embossed areas, you have some debossed areas. It has a wonderful uh, graphics on the front of the tuck case, also on the side of the tuck case. Instead of them printing it sideways like this, they printed it vertically, so it says Voyager on both sides of the tuck case. It does have a custom stamp to close the top of the tuck box, and then on the bottom it also talks about uh, the manufacturer, Theory 11. Theory 11 is the designer on this card, and they uh, were printed in conjunction with the United States Playing Card Company. Opening up the tuck flap, you have a little bit of art right there on the tip of the tuck flap. And then uh, the inside of the tuck box uh, has some beautiful southwestern mosaic printing on the inside. Opening up the deck and getting into the cards, uh, the backs of the cards, as you can see, uh, has the eagle motif uh, and kind of the, it's, it's supposed to sim symbolize uh, traveling the great American landscape. So it has some of the Southwest, it has some of the Northwest, it has some of the Midwest and the East, uh, East Coast, both North and East, uh, North and South uh, of the East Coast as well. <clears throat> uh, the Jokers, you have two identical Jokers. Uh, they're very attractive with the eagle and the guitar. Kind of a nomad life, you know, it kind of is reminiscent of that uh, nomad life. You do have a custom Ace of Spades which is very attractive. I like that a lot. The rest of the faces, they're all your standard uh, US playing card stock faces. So everything from the two through the king, they're exactly how they would be on a regular bicycle deck of cards. Each ace is custom made. So it is custom artwork on each ace. So that's the ace of diamonds. This is the ace of clubs right there. And finally, the Ace of Hearts. I like these custom aces. They're very, very attractive. Also comes with two ad cards. Both of the ad cards are for Theory 11, so you get the two different designed uh, Theory 11 ad cards. Let's talk about the paper. The paper is U.S. Playing Card Company's Eco Stock, so it is a thinner uh, stock than your traditional uh, retail brand stock, which you'll find on almost all U.S. Playing Card Company cards. This is Eco Stock, so it's thinner, but it's thinner because it is like 90%, I think they said 90% recycled fibers. So that's why it's uh, a little thinner. It's recycled paper stock. It uses vegetable-based inks, okay? So these aren't chemical inks. They're not going to harm the environment, and the card is laminated using a starch-based glue, so it too is also eco-friendly. So the whole deck of cards is eco-friendly. It is the air cushion finish, so it is air cushion embossed, um, so it will handle very beautifully with fans and any of your cardistry moves that require uh, that uh, air cushion finish as well. Uh, it is modern cut, so in order to do a table ferrule, you're going to have to turn the cards face up as opposed to keeping them face down. I like this deck of cards. I was not expecting a deck of cards like this in my Christmas stocking, but it was there and I enjoy uh, using them. They're a lot of fun. I would recommend them to go get them, at least put them in your collection. If you're not going to use them for cardistry or anything like that, they're nice to have in your collection. That's all the time I have this week. Again, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment in the section below. That really helps me out as well. 
Also, if you're on Instagram, follow me on hat, at hat and hair or on Twitter at Hair Academy. Until next week, thanks for joining me here at the Hat and Hair Academy. <laughs>